finally got my new system delivered. Um, this is the box for the case. Let me back up so you can see how huge this thing is. The uh, Storm CM Stormtrooper case. I'll focus here. There we go. Then, of course, my other box from New Egg with the board and everything in it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down here and get this stuff out of the box. Okay, got all this stuff out of the box. Um, set up all nice and pretty, and if this will focus. Um, quick rundown here, we got the Stormtrooper case. And then, uh, Nade Data 128 gig solid state. Uh, Samsung 830 solid state, this is the 256 or the 256. This was just on a combo deal. I think I paid two bucks for it or something, so I probably won't even use it, but it was two bucks. Free shipping, hey. Uh, Windows 7 Ultimate uh, retail. I was going to get the OEM, but I figured I'd play it safe, and it was only, well, only $100 more, so whatever. Uh, Silent Pro Cooler Master, 1,000 watt. Uh, probably a little overkill for what I'm doing, but we'll take it. Rampage Extreme, the 3930K, Corsair H60, um, I'm not too sure how that's going to work out, but we'll find out. 32 gigs of Rip Jaw Z Series, it says it's Z77, but with any luck it'll work with the extreme and I got two of them for a total of 64 gig and a couple extra SATA cables I always lose them for some reason so better be safe and I just got a generic spare keyboard um, for the ROG connect key and it's always nice to have a spare one then I also got uh, well, tissues. Those are just in case things break, and I'm not going to be happy. The Logitech G700 mouse. Alright, I'm going to take these apart and uh, get it in the case. Okay, as you can tell, I didn't get very far, but I just wanted to stop and mention how awesome the case just feels. I mean, the, the rubber, this is all rubber up here. Um, and the handle, I, I mean, if you watch anything about this case, you already know that it's just the, the feel of the case in general is just awesome. Uh, it's definitely one of the better, it's not just metal or just plastic. If you touch it, it's got a good feel to it. I just, I don't know what to say other than that. It's, it's just feels right. Um, okay, now that I said that, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, getting stuff out. Okay, here's the motherboard. The uh, Asus Rampage 4 Extreme. But before I get to that real quick, I'm going to show you what I did with the case. On the case here, you got these fans. Oops, can't really see. We got these fans. Well, normally when you get it, they're on the side to intake over the hard drives. Well, since I don't have any mechanical drives, I figured, what the heck, we'll have another intake blowing right back over the board through here. And it also has um, an SSD cage that is normally sitting here. I went ahead and took that out. I'm going to go ahead and install them on the top just for one less cable into the power supply. And I went ahead and installed the power supply. Um, it's modular, of course, and I threw that through there. And it had a, it came with one of those little uh, rubber gaskets or whatever they're called. Um, went ahead and put that into 
probably won't need it because the motherboard or the case has some rubber down there, rubber feet for it. Eh, but what the hell, put it in. And here's the board. I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet. It's got the eight dims, uh, four-way SLI if you want it. I'm not going to use it. It's not why I bought the board, but it's got it. It's got a bunch of head, uh, fan headers everywhere. The one thing I did hear about the board is that the chipset fan does get kind of loud, but compared to what I got now, it should be pretty quiet. And what you get with it, lots of SLI crossfire bridges, uh, four-way, two-way, three-way, whatever way you want it pretty much. Um, the IO shield. SATA cables. I think there's two, two or four, six, and two or four threes. I didn't count them yet. Uh, looks like some voltage taps. I'm not sure what that's for. Probably something to do with the RG Connect. The Quick Connect headers from the chassis. The ROG key, and a backplate for a cooler I'm not sure I'm going to need yet, probably not. Alright, now let's see if I can get this beast into the case. Well, it occurred to me as I was getting ready to put this thing in the case and screw it in that I forgot to put the processor on and along those lines I forgot to uh, check to make sure the cooler the H60 would work with the back plate on it and I quickly found out the screws didn't fit so I took the back plate off started to put on the cooler master or not cooler master the Corsair back plate or yeah for the cooler and then I realized that because um, this was released before LGA 2011 came out that since then they included screws that work with the default backplate. So I got the default backplate back on there and got a couple of the screws in. I don't know if you can see focus. And just getting ready to put the CPU in. And this is the uh, 30, well, hell, I can't even remember now, 3930. And you just pop this off. Lift that up. If you can do it with one hand. Well, you pop that up. Drop, line up the corner to there. And then just lock it down. Simple enough, huh? Okay, here's a quick shot of the cooler, the H60 again. Um, the radiator comes out right into the pump here on top of the processor. Um, pretty easy to put in, I was really surprised. Um, and then the two 32 gigs of RAM, 32, uh, 64 total. And I'm going to start plugging stuff in, get the hard drives in, and see if I can find my DVD drive to throw in there. Okay, I don't know what I did last time, but got most of the cables in, power, my 8 pin barely reached, but it did, um, got my video power here, I have to take the card out of my other computer before, so I'm just sort of doing that last, um, DVD drive, don't have it plugged in, but it's there. And I'm uh, getting ready to put in the solid states. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put them right underneath the DVD. Um, that way I got the full airflow from the fans blowing on the board and the card. We'll see how it works out. Okay, there we are. All put together. It only clipped. 
I guess it only took about three hours, considering I don't know what I'm doing. It's pretty good, I think. Uh, I got the video card in. Now it's a little dusty. In my other system, I don't have any compressed air yet. Uh, got the ROG key. I don't know if I'll hardly ever use it, but it's there. Uh, I would show you the back side of it, but I didn't think about turning the camera back on until after I got the side panel on and cable management back there is pretty bad. I ended up having to use the SSD tray. I could have put them in here, but I figured I'd just use that. Um, can't remember why, but I had to. Um, I could have put it up here, I guess. Still, it was just too much hassle and it was worth at that point. Um, Alright, now I'm going to power it on and hope it doesn't catch fire. Alright, got it all plugged in. And we're going to see if it even turns on. I don't even know if it's going to do that. Oh, wait. Ah. Power supply switch. And get some lights coming on in there. So far, so good. Nothing on the screen yet. That's uh, not too promising. Okay, if you didn't figure it out, after the or during the last video when I first tried to power it on, it didn't do anything. I couldn't figure out why, I couldn't figure out why I powered it off, reset, all that jazz. Finally it booted up and it only showed the uh, 48 gigs of RAM, but it worked with the 48 and I figured, well, I'll just go ahead and install Windows. And I found out the DVD drive wouldn't read any discs, so I ended up tossing it, grabbing another one, and the other one didn't work out very good either. Um, but it did read the disk good enough to install Windows and all the base drivers and everything and got it running. Um, after I got everything installed, all the drivers installed, I rebooted about a dozen times or whatever. Um, got it running so I can start installing applications, you know, Firefox, all that. And rebooted it and uh, went and was doing the uh, BIOS update for the what was it the the cap converter, the ROM converter, whatever it was? And it did it, did it all right, and then it it rebooted the second time, and it didn't do shit. <laughs> it wouldn't do anything. So I ended up uh, pulling out all the RAM, putting one stick at a time, one stick at a time, one stick at a time, until finally got them all in, and now it works flawlessly. So apparently it didn't like a stick of the RAM, or I didn't have it seated right. Um, but now it works. So I rebooted it a couple dozen times, powered off completely, and let it sit and powered it on. It's doing great. Um, I don't know. I'm recording this from my phone, so I don't know how good I can get in there. Uh, but you can see the... Oh, here, I'll just bring this up the whole way. No, that's no good. So we turn the flash off. That uh, won't let me. Zoom in. Alright, well, if, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's running about. Well, the dryer's running now, so the ambient's pretty high. Um, right now it's between 40 and 45. I even can't see it on here. Uh, let me see if I cover that up. Well, that doesn't help at all. Alright. Um, ran some quick benchmarks on it. It's pretty quick. Pretty quick. Uh, once I figure out how to get this flash off, I'll go ahead and run some Synbench and um, SSD benchmarks. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh, just because it's getting late and I'm getting tired. 
Uh, just give you a quick overview of the case. Again, you got USB 3, USB 2, your audio input output, reset. This here turns the fans down, the speed, turns it up. I'm probably going to leave it up most of the way because it's still pretty quiet. Um, LED lights for the front fans. And of course your power button, I haven't pulled the plastic off it yet. And you got the side panel over there. This raised is a godsend, really. I, if it wasn't for this, there's no way in hell I would have got the case closed with all the cables back there. And then you got this side here. I'll prob there's spots here for more fans. Um, I'm at least going to put one more in, probably go ahead and do two. Uh, we'll just see how it does. Um, yeah, I, I'm probably going to end up going and putting two in. I might actually end up ordering the side panel um, with a window in it. I haven't looked at it too closely yet, so it's just sort of a wait and see. Um, just makes it easier to see the diagnostic LEDs. Um, also, I'm, I got two um, cold cath code lights. I'm probably going to try to put one here on this side, right around the um, mesh, and then one on the other side as well. Or maybe even up on top. Um, you've probably seen on other videos where they have the uh, dust filters. There's one for every place. One here, one for the power supply one up front on the bottom um, but there's none on there is a filter here but it's really crummy you can't remove it and if you want to clean it you pretty much pull it out completely and there's none for the front neither just the um, removable Fujipuckers uh, drive bays so I guess you can just pull them out clean them off um, it would be more than enough, I, I suppose. And I didn't, don't think I showed you. But again, you've probably seen it on other videos. This comes out, and inside of there, there's a storage box. Um, probably just going to put extra thumb screws and whatever in there. But it's pretty, whatever you want. That'll fit anyway. Can't get this back on with one hand. Uh, it's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and then there's the X dock too. I got a laptop drive I'm probably going to throw in there. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. I kind of like having the mechanical drives. It's freaking fast. And quiet. I think that's it. So I'll go ahead and run some benchmarks with it tomorrow. And uh, see if I can get them added onto this video.